Go back here, in fact, in biblical times, you can find many things in the Bible that relate to when you walk a man and all that kind of stuff. So, it's nothing new about reparations. And people was, was paying it years ago. The Egyptians, uh, you know, supposed to have paid the Jews uh, so much money for 400 years of enslavement in the salt mines of Egypt. And so, reparation, the concept of reparation is nothing new. Nations have been paying it since almost the beginning of time, the beginning of nations anyway. And so the young people have to understand that reparation will come in many forms. You know, we need housing, we need schools, but we don't need these kind of schools. We need schools, and in Congress for this some years back, we need schools that we control. They asked for 10 campuses that was going to cost $10 billion of schools that we actually control. They asked to let all the political prisoners loose, those who hadn't committed any violent crimes. And uh, those are you know, several other things they asked for. They asked to let brothers who had not done anything really wrong, had shot nobody or nothing, to release them into the community. And that we would have organizations, you know, set up that would receive them. Because that hasn't happened. It happened early on, but it hasn't happened recently. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff about the reparation. Now, the RNA itself was born as a political entity. We didn't get born as a group, we got born as a nation. We had a provisional government of the Republic of Africa. Provisional government is temporary government. Uh, New Africa is the 46, 48 million black people of African descent of slavery. Uh, that's what we're talking about when we say this. So the Republic is the people. You know, the the uh, provisional government is that governing body that's required by the international law that any group who declare themselves going to separate from another country's rule, they have to say what that is. And in, in our Declaration of Independence, we say what that is. We say that I, the bones and of our ancestors, the what bones of our ancestors lay, and the United States owe us reparations because of that. We say what form is going to come in. Many groups is trying to do reparations now. But they don't go back to the history of why we said that we wanted reparations. And we based it on past international law and present international law. So, so that's what you can tell the young people. All right, free the lamb, right? I mean, that's...